Hey guys, this is Zach here, and I'm back with another Lightseekers video. Uh, yesterday, I actually got in contact with Playfusion, the company that makes the game, and uh, just basically let them know that I liked the card game a lot, and <laughs> if they wanted me to do more videos, to let me know, basically. And <laughs> this morning, I had a mailman knocking on my door, and they overnighted the intro pack, the Storm vs. Tech intro pack, for me to show off for you guys. So they sent me this, and I'm still incredibly thankful. Thank you, Playfusion. Uh, you guys are awesome. They even sent me a nice little handwritten note on actually a different postcard. So I think I have three of these postcards now that are all handwritten from Playfusion, which are... which is just amazing. And for those of you that don't know, the game is now in open access, the actual mobile game. So you guys can go download the game this second, right now, and go play. It's actually a lot of fun. I'm actually going to show off later in the video, scanning some of the cards so you can see how that works. And I'm actually going to have a gameplay video of the game. Going to film it tonight, so hopefully it'll be up tomorrow or the next day. But anyways, let's look at this. So this is the Storm vs. Tech intro pack. So this isn't the starter deck like we've seen before. This is an intro pack. This is for two players, so it has two decks inside. Uh, it costs a little bit more. The MSRP for this is 30 uh, compared to, I think, most stores are going to be selling these Strider decks for 20 So you save a little bit of money if you get one of these because you get two decks. Uh, but you might also realize that there's already a Storm deck and a Tech deck. These are actually different decks than the single packs you can get before. So it's great that they're doing that. Uh, I do want to give them props for the box, though, because it definitely looks a lot better and more appealing than the regular Strider Deck boxes. You actually have characters on the front. It's still not the hero characters, which I think would be better to show off, like show off the hero of the deck on the front. But still, you got cool creatures and enemies on the front instead of just text and some colors, so that's really good. The top just has the order symbols. You got... <laughs> that guy on the side and crazed bomber I know him on the side that really reminds me of chaotic for some reason and on the back you see everything you get inside you get two intro decks so two cards two hero cards 10 combo cards 60 action cards battle offline scan and game you get your unique tribute card which I will show off to you guys you get one booster pack instead of two which is fine two play mats two health counters and you get one trading shield to protect their cards from being scanned and then there's the six decks and the booster packs. So nothing on the bottom. Let's get this open. So inside it's pretty packed. <laughs> so let's just dump it out. There's our booster pack. There's our roll sheet. There is a tribute card. There we go. And there's one. <laughs> there's a... That looks like Jax, but Jax isn't in this deck. There's the Mari deck and the Tyrax deck. Okay, so everything you get inside, you get your two decks, you get two playmats. They're the same playmats as before, so nothing new there. Uh, you get the rulebook, same rulebook as before again. Yeah, it's definitely uh, Jax and Korra, <laughs> the action figure starter packs. So you actually don't get these in your deck. I mean, I guess you could say that's that's also Max Ailey here, and you could definitely probably say that's Nada. But you can use those in your game. Uh, I'm still really glad they include these, even though they're not very practical. I completely understand why they did it. They need, you know, they had to keep the cost of the decks down and make it easier for you to buy. Uh, but you can just use, you know, glass beads like I do, or coins, quarters, whatever you want to do. Or you can use these, it's perfectly fine too. You get two little deck boxes to keep your decks in, and the one trading shield. And then I'm already going to be scanning all the cards before this video goes up, so I can show these off to you guys now. Here is the tribute card, and I'll try and not hold it so you guys can actually scan it. So if you guys have the game, you can scan this tribute card. And basically, the more that people scan it, the better the card gets for me and you. So you'll get something for scanning this, I'll get something for scanning it, and the more people that scan it, it just gets better and better. So there's the tribute card. 
And you guys can scan these cards if you want, but like I said, I've already scanned them, so it's not going to do anything for you. But you can see the cool AR things on your phone if you do it. So let's go with, of course, the Tyrax first. There it is. All right. Get all the trash out of the way. So our hero for this deck is Maxily. I'm going to call her or him Maxily. <laughs> it sounds kind of like, kind of sounds like a girl name. Uh, he is tech order, obviously. He's got explosion, mechanical, and time. And his superior element is mechanical, so you can play two mechanical cards on your turn. His ability is heal any hero for one. This cannot be increased by effects. He's got 30 health. You can see his ability is very similar to Neda's. Deal one damage to the hero cannot be increased by effects. So these are kind of paired to go against each other. Their abilities kind of cancel each other out. So there's your Maxili, and here's your combo cards. Overwhelming Blast. Just two explosion for 11 damage. You take two damage as well, but that's really good. Steel Fortification combo buff. Two mechanical. Reduce damage received by corner. Your other mechanical buffs cannot be removed or return. That's pretty good. Body Morph. This this confuses me. I'll get to that in a second. Mechanical in time. Increase damage done by other heroes by corner. Take one damage. So for three turns after you play this card, they're going to be taking three more damage every time you hit them. But you take a damage every turn. So what is going on in this art? Is there like a tiny Jax like sprouting off of a big Jax? Or is he turning into that? I'm, I need answers. <laughs> this combo buff is celerity? Celerity? I don't... I'm, I'm not smart. I don't know that word. Two time in a mechanical. Gain one additional action. And this is a buff. And there's no corners. So this stays forever on your side of the field. And you get one additional action in your turn. This is crazy good. Being able to do three actions on your turn... Uh, is amazing, and if you don't do actions, you get to draw three cards into your turn. This card is crazy, crazy, crazy good. And last combo is Combo Defend Nitro Hill. It takes all three of the order, and it's 13 healing, which is about half your health, so that's pretty good. So our first actual cards in the deck here, your action cards. Unstable Defender... So the first three corners deal corner damage. The fourth corner moves three buff action cards from their hand to their deck. So they're going to take five damage and then they have to return uh, buffs back to their deck from their hand. So that's pretty good. Crazed Bomber. That's the guy on the box. Uh, burn, remove three buffs, and remove two action buffs from for yourself. So that's decent. Especially if you don't have any action buffs to return, you just remove three of theirs. And burn, still not a big thing. When, if, for guys who don't remember, a uh, card with burn, when it enters your discard pile, it can't leave your discard pile. So that's all it does. You get two of those guys. A Tyrax Mercenary, just a regular five damage attack. Two of those. Fumbling Alchemist, I love this guy's art. Six damage, and discard one of your combo cards. This card's kind of iffy. I mean, you go from doing 5 damage to do 1 more damage, but you have to get rid of a combo? That's a little harsh. Regen Chamber. This card's good. Uh, you get corner healing at the start of your turn. Rotate this to one step forward when you take 1 or more damage. So you see this buff doesn't have the regular circle icon like uh, this other card here. When it's this weird shape like this, that means it doesn't rotate at the start of your turn the card will tell you when to rotate it. So, uh, at the beginning of your turn, you're always going to heal two, no matter what corner it's on. And then every time you take damage, you're going to rotate this one step forward. So, when you take four damage, four times basically, you get to remove this card. So that's a really good card too. Bulwark Carrier. Uh, reduce seven damage, and then it goes away. <laughs> that's decent. Ramparts. Reduce damage by corner, deal one damage at the attacker if you get attacked. So, you're reducing damage by two, and then you get to deal one back to them every time they hit you. Bone Chewer, I love this art. This is an awesome creature design. Uh, three damage increases by three if you've played a mechanical card this turn, which is that symbol there. So, six damage potentially, which is good. Three of those in the deck. 
Tyrax Fixer, four healing, increase this by three if your health is less than 15. That's pretty good. Three of those. Time Worm. It seems like every order has some kind of worm, which is weird. Move your last discarded combo... Move your last one discarded combo cards to your hand. So get a combo back. That's really good. Chrono Moth. I love this art. Uh, three damage, you draw a card. That's pretty good. Fountain of Time. We saw this in our booster pack from last time. Rotate at the one action buff up to two sticks backwards or forwards. And it can be any ones. So that can really mess with some things. Looper, six damage, and your opponent gets to draw a card. So, little drawback. Then we got the Frenzied Creebles, the Umbron Thief, which is really good in the game, actually, because when you scan this in the game, uh, you get a random loot drop of coins and items and stuff. And then Umbra Marauder. We scan this guy in the game, he actually follows you around as a follower for a while. So that deck seems pretty good. We'll have to see when we actually get some gameplay videos up. We'll have one of those soon, too. So really quick, let's go through the Mari deck here. The Storm deck. Alright, so here is Crab Rider Nada. With her cute little crab. Uh, Storm Order, it's got three elements. Her superior element is Water. I believe that's what that is. And her ability is the exact opposite of Maxili's over there. You deal one damage and it can't be increased by effects, so they kind of cancel each other out. So here's her combos. We have Overload, 2 Lightning, Storm, whatever that is. Uh, 8 damage, you may discard one of your combo cards, increase this by 2, plus the discarded combo's cost. That can be crazy good. Murky Waters, just 2 water. 7 damage, increases by 5, your subnet has more than 20 health. So potentially 13 damage. 12 damage, I can't count. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Lightning Storm. Deal corner damage to your target, so basically 12 damage altogether. That's really good. Cleansing Wind. 9 damage. Recipient moves all action cards of an element of your choosing from their hand to their deck. So that could be potentially really good, or really not good. And Storm Wall. This card is amazing. Uh, it costs one of each of the orders of the elements. Uh, and it's sex is you just, you can't be attacked. So that's crazy to begin with. And then you deal corner damage to your target. So for the first turn, you can't be attacked. Second turn, you do get attacked. Third and fourth turns, you can't be attacked. And you deal 12 damage to your target altogether. Crazy. And in multiplayer, this is cool. I haven't seen an effect like this. It has an effect that only happens if you're doing three or more players. Uh, you do the same thing, but the damage is applied to all heroes and reduced by one. So three damage to everybody in the game. This card is amazing. So then we have our action cards. We have Storm Shaman. Increased damage done to other heroes by corner. Crackling Beast. Look at that guy. How cute is that? Uh, three damage. You can remove one of your buffs to increase this by three. So that's pretty good. Living Cloud. Four damage. Increases by two. Your seven has no buffs. So that can be really good. Spark Wisp. Look at this. Everything in this deck is freaking cute. Uh, just your regular five damage card. Delivery Crab. Again, adorable. Three healing, draw one card. Impressed Sludge Fin. Does he look impressed? He looks very concerned. I don't, I don't think that's impressed. Three damage, heal your five. Heal yourself for five. Your last discarded card is a combo card. So in this game, you can't mess with the order of your discard pile. It's got to stay in the order that you discard cards. So last card is combo. Get to get five damage. Heal, too. Bubble fish, look at this art. Reduce damage received by corner. Heroic starfish, three damage to yourself for three. It's like, it's like someone tried to take like Patrick Star and put them in Overwatch or something. It just, it's hilarious. Three of those. Vitalizing frog, the guy from the box, six healing. That's good. Three of those. Dust fiend, this guy is attitude. 4 damage. This card can count as any element when used for a combo. So that's really, really good. Get your combos out there. Uh, the butterfly cards are always really good, or the moth cards. Dancing Flutterer. 3 damage. Increased by 3 for someone has more than 20 health. Potentially 6 damage. Hurricane Spirit. Now this card, I need answers on. So it has 2 regular co corners and then an irregular corner. 
So, you play this card. Uh, it doesn't do anything with the first turn. It doesn't do anything with the second turn. The third turn, you can use this as one of your actions on your turn to move three cards from their hand to their deck, and then you draw three cards. But then, does it rotate then? Or does it not rotate? Because if it's an irregular corner, it can only rotate from the card text. So this card is weird to me. I, I need to get like an official ruling on this one. Thunderslug. He is very grumpy looking. I would be too. Uh, burn. Remove corner buffs from another hero. So that's pretty good. And then you get your unaligned cards, your frenzied creebles, your unbomb marauders, and your sneaky creebles. So this deck seems like a lot of fun too. And I'm pretty sure Cat is going to love playing this because of all the cute cards and all of the shenanigans this deck can do. <laughs> so these two seem really balanced to fight each other, but there's a lot of cards in there that are amazing to put in other decks, like that crazy combo card in the tech deck and the crazy combo card in the storm deck. All right, but now for the fun part. Let's get this pack open and see what new cards we got. Hey, we got another tech hero. So every pack always has a hero, so here's our hero for this pack. This is Zillia. That is a girl, definitely. Uh, her superior element is time, and it definitely looks like it from the art. Uh, her ability is rotate one of your action buffs one step forward. So that can be really good, because you saw in there a lot of tech stuff doesn't do anything on the first corner. So that's pretty crazy good, actually. We have Soul Thief. It's a dread card, 4 damage. For healing, 2 damage to your target. Everrock Relic, we've seen that before. Just just a 3 damage, increase it by 3 for holding a combo card, and you put it back in your deck. Phase Shift, that's crazy art. This is an Astral card. Uh, corner damage to your target when you heal one or more. Oh, it's a combo, so 4, 14 damage potentially. Because I'm pretty sure they like to heal, so that's really good. Burst of Venom. That's, uh... Is that Zyrus? The new Dread Hero they just revealed? He's got two poison. Another combo card. Eight damage. You may remove up to two of your own poison buffs to increase this by two per buff removed. So potentially... 12 damage. That's pretty good. Especially if the poison buffs do bad things for you. <laughs> we get another bubble fish. Ooh, get another item. Dripping Dagger. Malice coats this weapon like a second skin. It looks like it. So this item will just give you a superior poison element to whatever hero you put it on. So this can go on any deck. And then, do we get a foil? Oh, one more card. Fiery Blade, another weapon. Uh, the path of this weapon is marked only by glowing embers. That's an awesome looking sword. Uh, same thing as that one. This will give you a superior fire element to any hero you want. And no foil, but we got our first dual order combo card. This is Life Imbue. It's Plant, I think is what that one is, in Mechanical. Five healing, move a combo buff from your hand or your discard pile into play. That is crazy. So, obviously since the ability is crazy, this is, card is very hard to play, because it's two orders. So that means... At least for the moment, you have to play a hero with one of those elements and then have some kind of item card also in play that gives you the other element. So it's really hard to do right now, but if you can get it off, that's really, really good effect. I don't know if I ever mentioned it before, uh, the way to determine the rarity is the name, the color of the title of the, of the bottom. So white is common, blue is uncommon, and gold is rare. So there's that. Oh, that is it for this video. It still is crazy to me how much stuff comes in these boxes. You get all of this inside. I am very excited to try these decks out and see how they play. I'll have a video up soon. Can't guarantee when, but hopefully very soon. And I'll be having a video up of the actual mobile game up very soon as well. And because I almost forgot, I'm going to show you guys scanning in the game. So this is the main screen for the mobile game. Just tap on scan. And now it says show cards. It's probably going to freak out because there's 100 cards there. So let's scan our tribute card first. So I'm going to lay this down, get these other cards out of the way. 
All right, and so you see the AR stuff happening. It's logging in right now, so I can claim it. There we go. So now I just hit claim, and there we go. That's the current stats on that tribute card. So like I said, the more you scan it, the better it gets, and you guys can scan it and get some benefits too. Another cool thing is, basically anytime you see a Lightseekers product and you see this little camera symbol down here, that means if you have your game, you can scan it like that. And it does some kind of cool AR thing. So like for instance in this, you can actually see the cards in your deck before you actually get it. Except those cards aren't in the deck? Was that in the deck? Those cards are not in the deck. <laughs> so I guess they're just showing you different cards from those orders. So that might just be a bug. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to show you cards in the deck. She's in the deck. Yeah, I think it's just showing you different cards from the order. But still, that's really cool that you can just go into a store, pull your phone out, and see all this cool AR stuff just by having your phone there. And then just to show off scanning a regular card. Nope, it's trying to scan a hundred things. There we go. So every single card does something in the game. Most cards will give you some kind of ability that'll last for a while when you scan it in the game. So for instance, this one... When your auto attacks cause a critical hit, there is twenty percent chance that your damage will that the damage done by your followers is increased by one hundred percent for ten seconds. If I stick claim, and now that card is mine, and it adds it to my online collection and shows that that card's mine. No one else can scan it. And then if I'm in the game, so if I'm here playing the game, you can hit the camera icon on the side here. That's the map. <laughs> it's hard to look through my camera camera and then for instance let's scan that card oh. you should be laying it down not holding it in front of it so you can actually tap the screen there we go so activate now it's going to go back to the game and you can see it says buff activated and if you look really close at Jax there I named Blaze. Uh, you see these little cards hovering around them. So now that ability is active, and I can use that ability for a while. If you actually scan the card, it'll tell you how much longer you have. So you got 30 minutes left until I can scan another card like this. So that's how they work in the game. I'll be having, like I said, an actual gameplay video of this soon, and I'll show off more of that in the game. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll have those new videos out as soon as I can. Thank you again, PlayFusion. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.